That's right. Welcome to my new mini series. The quest to find the lost city of gold. Alright, let's get started. So, this is Spelunky, uh, if you don't already know. Um, yeah, it's a cross between a platform and a roguelike. It's pretty amazing. So, um, yeah, I've started a new file and I haven't like unlocked any of the shortcuts or anything, but the, I have all of that in my old file. And the only thing I have never done is actually find the lost city of gold. So. That oops. Um what we have to do to get there is first there's basically um a thing to find in, in each world of the game. So there's four worlds in this in Spelunky. Um the cave world is first. So in this world we have to find um the Ujat's hive, which is found in like a locked chest. You have to find the chest in the key. So and then you use that item in the second world to find something, and then you use the new item you find in the second world, the third world, and so on. And then once you've done that huge quest throughout the entire game, you'll find the Lost City build, hopefully. <laughs> As I said, I haven't done it before, so um, the furthest I've actually got is um, to the item in the second world, but I've never actually made it to the item in the third world, so. This is all new to me, mostly. But I have a few tricks in the first, in this first world. So what I'm doing now is just getting as much gold as I can. That's my plan, I guess. Um, and I'll use that to buy maybe like a jetpack or a cape. Here's the key. We need this. So yeah. Um, here we go. This gives us the Uja Eye, which you'll first the first thing you'll notice is that you can see all the gems in the walls. Which is like so it's like a, almost as good as the spectacles, which reveal everything in the walls. This only reve reveals gems in the walls. Not like that. Oh crap. <laughs> well, there's my first death. Great start. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'm playing on one, version 1.1, 1 .1, so spikes will uh, kill me easier than they do. Easy way to kill these is just to whip them as they fall. So, what was I saying? Yeah, gems, walls, <laughs> items you won't see with the HSA. So if you rescue a damsel, they give you a health, and you only have four health, and as soon as you die, you have to restart. Okay, if you bomb here, as you might know, what do you find? It's this, a matlock, so you can just use that to get out. Very handy. So you can just use it here, and every hit, uh, I think it has like a uh, some chance of breaking, and then it'll break. So it can even break on your first hit, and I don't think it actually the chance gets greater with each hit. I think it stays the same, but I am not 100% sure on that. So yeah, didn't try this before, but. Uh, get a nice kiss. 
Alright. So here's the shopkeeper. Could buy some bombs, I guess I will. That's worth it. I think it's better to buy stuff in the Well, I don't know. Cause as you each world, um the gold and stuff is worth more oh, almost got hit by the snake just then. Um the gold is worth more, um each new world. Maybe like twenty five percent more. And the stuff in the shop costs more as well. So I guess it would balance out to kind of set this up. <laughs> Doesn't matter if they they can take um Sandals can take like at least three or four hits from arrows. They're much stronger than you usually. <laughs> You're like a friggin' uh like squishy guy. <laughs> Compared to the damsel. Yeah, and she'll run off if you leave her too long. She doesn't move if you, she's not on the same screen as you. And you don't want her to fall in spikes though, because they're insta death for everything. So, okay. So that's why it's usually not a good idea to let her just go running around. Because there might be spikes on me. But you can walk through them, so that's fine. Not gonna go for that. Basically, um, I don't know. I go for kills as well as um, money and, and saves, which is what it's called when you save a damsel. Um, but the only thing I really have to be going for is money. But all of the scores are saved, so I'm gonna go down. Okay, taking a bit too long here. Yeah, I could have just fallen. Okay, whatever. So anyway, this is my introductory episode, I guess. I just want to talk about... Oh, there we go. Break it. May as well use a bomb. I have a lot. Um, my plan is to get a lot of bombs before I get to the City of Gold because I haven't actually seen, like, any screenshots or anything of the City of Gold. All I know is that, um, it's made completely of gold, so... Ooh, yeah, here's the ghost, so... If you take too long in a level, you'll get the ghost, and what that does is just follows you and kills you in a single hit, so... It's basically just there to keep you moving quickly, so you don't dilly-dally. Okay, so more bombs. I don't usually like getting these because they let you grab onto walls anywhere instead of just right at the top like this. You can grab onto anywhere, but um, they reduce your mobility a lot. Like, you won't be able to move around fast enough if you're near walls, so... I usually don't get them. I can get these rope cords, so. Okay. I haven't actually shown what ropes do yet. You can just throw them up or down and then use them as a ladder, basically. And they can also, as they're traveling upwards, you can, you can use them as a weapon. But I don't really exploit that as much as I should good if you don't have any, if like a bat's coming down and you have no other way to defend yourself. And yeah, there is full damage, so I'm being pretty careful with that. It's quite um, generous though, but it's there and you'll notice it if you're careless. So, haven't seen the, oh here we go. Yeah, um, the Ujatsai can't come in oops, in the first level, um, but it can come, it has a chance to come every other level after that. And if it hasn't come in the first three levels, then it has to come in the fourth level, which is the last level of the first world. But we got it, what level is this? Oh, it is level four, so yeah, it had to come.
But the um, thing in the next world, I'm pretty sure that can come in any of the four levels. But it actually usually comes in the first level, which is different. Like, most of the time I see it in the first level. And usually it's right um, where you come in, but we'll see that soon what happens. I haven't mentioned, but I actually meant to say that um, to open pots I always whip them and I stand away from them because um, like snakes and stuff can come out, snakes and spiders can come out. And if you whip them they give you double the amount of drops, which is sometimes good. So here we can get a weapon if we really wanted to. But uh, I'll, I'm fine for now. I'm just going to shut this down here. So this over here is a gold idol. Every world has a different trap, but this world is just the... It's probably the best trap of them all for the first world. It's just a boulder. It'll catch you out if you're not expecting it, but you can usually avoid it if you are expecting it. Okay, there's the chest. Alright. And yeah, you can't bring the chest to the key, you have to bring the key to the chest. <laughs> it's a nice nuance. Um, yeah, as you see, it's the kill. Yeah, I'm using my. This is the normal walk and this is the run, so. I use both to their best, usually. Okay, so this is the Tunnel Man. He'll make you shortcuts, which I mentioned at the start of the video. And you can pay him, he'll take 100,000 off you, and then it'll, like, it'll become more each world for a new shortcut. But I'm not gonna pay him anything. <laughs> I don't need shortcuts. I have them in my other file anyway. So this is the dark level. Um, you'll get three flares at the start. And yeah, uh, that lantern I picked up, that gave me like 10k or something or more. Um, yeah, that floating head, you want to pick that one. But if you do any damage to them, they'll just disappear. So. And yeah, um, I'm not gonna go for that. <laughs> I almost just died there. Alright, I heard... It's not doing any more. Is it here? No. It's probably further down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bomb here. Probably like... Here we'll do. I... No, it's not gonna do it again. Well, I thought I heard the um, Ujat's eye like blinking. And yeah, that monkey's throwing that. Okay. It's, here, it's over here somewhere. Oh, I can't lose it now. Because when it blinks, that's where you, like, it'll blink faster and faster the closer you are to the secret door in the level. I just got hurt somehow. Yeah, don't be careful with the plants because they'll insta kill you if they're away. That was not me. Okay. I have no idea. I swear I heard it blink once. This is awful. <laughs> I can't take flares. Yeah, there you go. further down. Okay, let's go a bit faster. It's not over here. But yeah, it's um secret door is in uh, it's in um the wall so you actually have to bomb to get to it. There you go now it's blinking. Okay, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Almost 
I didn't make that jump. Well, I guess, oh, goddamn. <laughs> well, those do a lot of damage, they don't actually insta-kill. But they, yeah, if you don't have like 40 health, they'll kill you probably. Oh well, I guess I might cut to when I get back to world 2. Alright, this is um, a shrine to Kali, Kali shrine. Um, at first I actually thought this was a trap because if I was to um, destroy either of these blocks right now, um, like it would say, how dare you deface me, and then it would like launch out four or five spiders at you. And yeah, I just thought it was a trap, but it's actually, you can actually sacrifice living or dead bodies there, so like a caveman body or a shopkeeper body or a damsel body. And if they're alive they'll like depending on how good the actual Oh I have zero ribs left. Crap. I need to get back up there. Oh uh, god. <laughs> um yeah, depending on what the rating of it is, like a damsel is rated the highest. That's like the best sacrifice you can make. Um, shopkeepers are rated um, pretty high. Uh, cavemen are rated really low, and um, also plants and eating plants. God, I'm not gonna actually find this entrance with the bombs I have right now. I'm left, because I'm really lucky. So yeah, um, if they're alive they're rated higher, if they're dead they're rated lower as well. Um, damn it frog, I need you to blow up something useful. <laughs> uh, I'm screwed. It's up there somewhere. Uh, guess take three then. Here's another mod of the second world. It'll just uh, put a huge pool of water at the bottom of the level. And then you'll get the fish boss, which will give you like four crates if you kill it. But, um, yeah, that trap is really, really easy to avoid. Um, yeah, you'll get. I usually kill it with sticky bombs though, because. All you have to do is um, get sticky bombs, then stick one bomb to it, and it'll die. Very easy way of killing it. But, don't have them yet. Uh, haven't had the eye blink yet. I'm not sure if it will again, because this is a modified place, but I'm pretty sure. Everything, the rules still apply and modified levels. Yeah, as you can see, there's water down there. And yeah, I bought bombs, but I didn't buy ropes. I think I might have got a crate or something of ropes because I have five instead of four. I had juggling a whole bunch. Oh, there goes my idol. <laughs> Into the depths. It's quite deadly to go in there, because all of these fish will think they're piranhas. <laughs> they're like clams, though. I don't know. Ah, look, yeah, there's the fish boss. That goes really, really fast, and that'll follow you. I, I can shoot it to death if I try, but this gun isn't so great. The shotgun, as you might see later, is a lot better. 
because it has spread, it does like five bullets instead of one. And they spread up oh god, there's two fish right there. On top of each other. Out most of the little fish. Uh, and frogs are like spiders but a lot more deadly because for the sole fact that um, spiders have to wake up and you can just abuse that but frogs are... Ooh. I don't... I haven't seen that because I've always killed them the cheek way. <laughs> well that's interesting. And as you can see... yeah, fort crates. And, pretty, and yeah, you have infinite um, oxygen underneath water, which is nice. And I believe you can run if I was to touch the ground again. There we go, now I'm moving past. Okay. Probably shouldn't be taking so long because I need to get out of here. So let's just get that idle and then go. You might be able to see the ghosts. Yeah, there it is. If that'll type. If that touches us, we're dead, basically. But it shouldn't be too much of an issue. <laughs> I don't want to, like, be too risky, though. Because often I get too cocky with it and just screw up at the last second. Alright. There we go, and now it's blinking. Is this what level is? It's 7, so. I could have come in level 8, but... Alright. Blink. Oh, yeah, there's the frog. They are pretty deadly. Oof. Is it here? Maybe. Mm. Well, I might be able to demo sacrificing something. Fine, like a... I already killed that plant over there. Because plants disintegrate when you shoot them and stuff. Just wonder where this... No! Okay. <laughs> Here somewhere? Maybe... I don't want to destroy that... Kali. usually this hard to tell where it is. I think it's actually further down. It must be. Or further in this direction. Where was it blinking the most? Because yeah, when you're not that close, it won't blink a whole lot and it doesn't tell you much. Just, I think it's my parachute. I wouldn't have even taken damage there, so... It, it's a bit... Searching this level for Yeah, no. Because, yeah, if you um, have spiky shoes, that'll kill them instantly. So, yeah, spiky shoes are basically useful for killing stuff with, like, plants and cavemen and stuff that have more than one health. Okay, it's not blinking down on this row. I'm pretty sure it's not here. Okay. Use a little trick. No, okay, let's get out. We need to go fast. We need to just find it. Okay. Alright, it's not over here. Stressful, man. <laughs> oh, God. 
I think I'm just gonna ditch that. I don't need it. Okay. Maybe it was right at the top. Let's just bomb here. Oh god. Here it comes. No, not here. I'm gonna die. I just know it. Yeah, I'm screwed. Um, yeah. <sighs> Didn't jump. Oh, well, I got new kills and saves record. That's pretty good. <laughs> Almost at my hundredth play. Oh well, let's give another shot.